good afternoon and welcome to Have a Chat. It's a beautiful Monday and I'm your host, Judy Loger, with my bright and beautiful co-host, Veronique Arsenault. It's hard to believe that it's Monday again. Yes, and it's a glorious sunny Monday, a little chilly, but we'll take the chill over the snow, right, Vera? I know, it's not snowing here. No, it is a lot now, Berta, and my heart goes out to them shoveling already. It's just too early. I know, I always say it's okay with the rain because as long as I don't have to shovel it. I know, I know. Yep. I'm and we were saying earlier, like as you get older, it's harder, right? Because uh, you just have to do a little bit more and yeah. the joints are a little bit creakier and all of that. Everything's creakier, yes. <laughs> but let's stay on a real positive note and you have the quote for the day. So if you'd like to I share do. that with our viewers. I do, I do. And this one uh, really spoke to me. Um, and it's funny, I, I am so fascinated with Nelson Mandela, oh, I will too. be honest, yeah. I, uh, I got to visit uh, the prison that he was in in Robben Island How in South Africa. Amazing. And I, I am fascinated by the man that he is and that he was able to get past everything that happened yeah. to him. So I always, I love his quotes because I, I yeah. They because just, he's I somebody that you really, really always have admired yeah, as well as very myself. much yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's an incredible, he was an incredible world leader. Yes. Um, so it's about rising. So the greatest glory in living lies not in never failing, but in rising every time we fail. Nelson Mandela. Mm. Now, if I've heard that before, it's not resonating. So it does right at this moment, though, yeah. say a lot about how we should all take that quote in. Yeah, that, that terrible things will happen and hard things will happen. Yeah. And, and I, I'll be honest, there was a, a few years ago where I never thought I would mm -hmm. be able to dig out. Rise. I never I never thought I would. I, I had lost, and I, it's difficult for me to say that now, but I had lost hope for quite some time. I know you did. And uh, but, but it's true that, and I, I still don't know what lesson I was supposed to learn from all that, but that's okay, I'll figure that out. Resilience, yeah, probably, strength, probably. inner probably. strength. But it, it's true is that everybody fails at something. Everybody. And that everybody has something Something that they that that hasn't gone the way that they had hoped or wished, and, and that so that we still have to keep going. And very unique, like if they say that they haven't failed at something, then they're lying because everybody has either failed a grade, failed an interview, failed at a marriage, failed at yeah. financial planning successfully, whatever yeah. it may be. But do you not think on that note that we rise? But isn't it much better when we have people to help us rise? Agreed. Uh, our network of support and to say, look, you can do it. You need that little shove sometimes. I mean, it's easy to <laughs> yeah. fall, but and it's, and it's hard to get up. But if you have people in your corner, yeah. at least one trusting soul or two in your corner that can encourage you every time that you, they think you're going to get down a little bit more. I agree. I do. I yeah. think you need those that little uh, core. Group. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and you know, it, it, I see often online, you know, all these quotes and stuff, but you know, I truly, I truly believe that the best thing we can do is support others to be successful. Especially in this day and age. Yeah. There's so many people dealing with mental health issues. There's so much anxiety just yep. because we're in a generation of uh, all of that out in the media, negative, yep. and, and we're fighting against a lot of drug issues and et cetera. So we are at a, you know, we're in a different generation right now and we see these kids coming up and we've got to be there for these kids Agreed. to have a good place in society and, and, and learn whatever le good lessons we can teach them. I agree. Now we have a lot coming up. Oh this, my goodness! Like, There's so much going on. is packed full of events, <laughs> and so much you really on. try to stretch yourself to attend all of them because to me they're all equally important. Yes. Yeah. Uh, especially the ones we're going to talk about. Yeah. So this one I would love to get to, and I'm going to let the viewers know about it. Mm -hmm. um, and I encourage viewers that you're asked to attend a very important meeting. The community advisory committee will be hosting a crystal meth information session tomorrow, which is October 1st, from 6 to 9 p.m at the Highland Theatre, which is at the Miramichi Hospital, at level two. It is open to the public, but seating is only um, at the capacity of 120, so it's first come, first serve. Very so you'll have to go day. a little early to get a seat. Yeah. Um, there will be obviously presenters there, which include uh, Dr. Sanjay Siddhartha, a well-known psychiatrist in our area, Dr. John McCann, who is a retired physician and co-chair of the committee, uh, we also have Kelly Hallahan speaking, and um, Kelly's with Addiction and Mental Health, mm -hmm. and Clinical Coordinator Jody, and also the Clinical Coordinator. And then we have Jody White, who is a well-known police officer. And last but not least, we have a Brody Sisk, who is with um, SCAN. It's a health plan type of an issue, and he is an investigator with SCAN. So please try to support this. I hate to say that our area is riddled with such a problem, but it is. Well, you know, it's been really tough that like over the summer we saw so often um, on social media uh, posts about, you know, somebody came into my yard and, and stole this, somebody, you know, uh, my kid's bike went mm, missing, my phone's and, missing. And I, I don't ever remember seeing that before. It's like, rampant. You know, there'd be like a, the odd, oh, you know, 
my, our, my kid's bike disappeared from the ball field. Yes. Um, but it, it got oh, so it bad that there was actually a, a Facebook group created. And, and it was like, it's every day we're seeing those posts. Like, mm. and, I'm, and I'm a little concerned because it's, we're seeing also the posts where, well, I saw such and such walking down the street and I think they look sketchy. Yes. And I worry about that, that we're, that we're creating a little bit of a, a community of vigilantes because mm -hmm, we don't want that mm -hmm. either. No, we don't. But we need yeah. to be aware you know that that we need to lock our doors now what is your, can i just ask why people do not lock their doors i, I mean what is the little thing, uh, what's the problem with just going to click in your door? Is that for safety it is reasons? It is. It's yeah. just a two second yeah. safety procedure. Yeah. My doors are locked 24 7. I have a great alarm system. I have two dogs. Ditto. I'm well prepared. Ditto. But, but. And, I, we, and we, did have, we did have someone attempt to break into our house mm -hmm. um, when mom was home. And so it was tough. But, um, but we, so we, incre we upgraded our alarm system. Yeah. But and, we always locked our doors. And with the addiction, the topic of addiction, my heart goes out to those who are addicted because I don't have that addictive, yeah. I don't think I do, addictive personality. And they say, you know, once you get into that kind of a drug that's that potent, mm -hmm. and we're seeing more and more potency in all of the incoming drugs, street drugs, it's very, very scary. Yeah. The things that we don't know are laced with whatever are super laced with, with a lot. And oh, it's uh, yeah. the hook is such a high for these young people. And adults and young children yep. that they can't wait for the next one so they'd steal the eyes mm -hmm. out of your head to get that next fix I know it's horrifying. and it's it's heartbreaking it's horrifying I mean you know addiction is is such a you know we don't understand it and and we need to support those who are living Thank it you. Um, and be informed like it's tomorrow it's a perfect opportunity agreed. for people to hear what the problem is how extensive the problem is mm -hmm. and what as a community we can do to support yeah. this uh, and them getting help. Mm -hmm. Now you have another event that you'd like to talk about, Verney. Well, it's actually happening today. Um, or, well, I'll talk about this one and then we have, we've got something coming up. We do? Yeah, so it's actually happening today and today is Orange Shirt Day. I did not know that. I know. <laughs> well, you can't know everything. Well, I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> you're pretty, you've got, the, you've got your hand on the pulse, but uh, you can't know everything. So today is Orange Shirt Day and it's across the country. Um, and it's, it's uh, d designated on September 30th mm -hmm. annually. And it's in recognition of the harm that the res residential school system did to children's self-esteem mm -hmm. and their well-being. And also as a, an affirmation of our commitment um, of support Good. and to show that uh, everyone, everyone does matter. And everybody. Everyone does matter. I love that. And, yeah, and it's, it was great to see all the pictures uh, posted today on mm -hmm. social media again, yes. uh, to see everybody heading into school and to see the schools really focus on that. Uh, this it. summer I got to attend um, a blanket um, a ceremony, a blanket exercise, and it, it walked us through um, uh, the life of, of our indigenous peoples since since we came as yeah. as uh, immigrants. Yeah. So it was it was very eye opening and it was it was stunning and it was emotional and and so it's very I, I'm so glad that we're having that conversation now in Me schools too. that we're educating all of us on what it, what that meant what those residential schools meant and what yeah. we did to our indigenous yeah. peoples. They will learn and they'll be role models for other kids like the yeah. older they get they can say look we were part of this initiative exactly. to to oh, I love that I yeah. think that's great and it's never too late to change into an orange t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> a long day ahead of us yet folks. That's true yeah that'll be my next thing now. Yeah. Um, and then I wanted to talk uh, briefly uh, about um, the uh, sixth annual awareness day walk for World Mental Health Day on October 10th. Okay the 10th. Yeah, so there's uh, several organizations in the region that are coming together to uh, help uh, promote that event. Um, so you uh, meet at uh, Royal Canadian Legion Branch Number no. Three mm -hmm. uh, on in Miramichi East, so on the Chatham side and the East side uh, at 11:45, and uh, there'll be live entertainment, 50/50 free lunch very nice yeah and it's just it's a walk for awareness and mental health and we know that one in five um, people are mm -hmm. um, affected with mental health issues yes. and, and illnesses and we need to to talk about it more and we need to we need to support more so please promote this that's yeah. that's huge really exactly and the 10th falls on a Saturday uh, no, I, my, I don't know it's well, a good anyway, question folks, <laughs> it is October 10th and, and it's a Thursday it's a Thursday yeah okay, just mark it on your calendar sometimes our calendars get a little bit cramped but yeah uh, if we know this a couple of days or more in advance yeah, tomorrow's the first of October. I know, wow. but there's there's uh, lunch though that day too, so we uh, you know yeah we want to go just even for the lunch. Get out there and support it. <laughs> right. Also, um, this coming week it's October sixth. Um, a reminder that the Miramichi CIBC Run for the Cure is on that Sunday, October 6th at the Kin Center, which is at 100 uh, Newcastle Boulevard. Mm -hmm. So that's Miramichi West. Yep. And you can walk or run, uh, one or five kilometers. Register before noon. We'll do the one. 
uh, yeah, or one and a half, maybe, just to say we did. Maybe one and a half. Yeah, and you can register online at CIBCRunForTheCure.com, all together there. Uh, so come and support this. Of course, it's raising money for the Canadian Cancer Society. Mm -hmm. And um, I've emceed this for a number of years, and I will be there again. And I believe Darcy McLaughlin's going to be there with me. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a great old day walking for breast cancer, who, again, you're talking about yeah. mental health. Breast cancer is so oh my there goodness. all of, you know, the time around us. Well, and we all we all have someone in our lives who has been affected by breast cancer, mm -hmm. um, men and women. I could name dozens. Yeah, and you know, we, friends, family, um, you know, co-workers, they've all, everyone has been affected by breast cancer in some way. So and are, it's it's absolutely essential that we that we support these initiatives. And you know, and, and I talk about it all the time, we always talk about it all the time, is that they're all put on by volunteers. I know that. And you know? We have to appreciate volunteers. Oh, and we do goodness. recognize that at the levy every year, oh, yeah, we bring sure. out some community champions that have just been there for so many causes for years and years. Yep. And I love the idea that it's, it's done in the new year. Yeah, I agree. I, I love the levy every year, Me too. too. It's hard to believe that tomorrow is October 1st. Um, yeah. How did that happen? I like fall, and I've been walking my dogs, and you know what I've been doing for my own peace of mind is every night just putting them both on a leash, which is challenging. <laughs> one walks slow and one walks fast, so I'm kind of like, you know, I'm out of joint now. And you've got big dogs. They're big dogs. They're big girls, but oh my gosh, I love them. Yeah. I love them. So I, I have 10 if, I, if my husband would let me. He wouldn't. Has, has Zara grown very much? She's a big girl. Is she? I'll have to post a new picture yeah, of her. Yeah, I haven't seen her for a bit. Instead of an alarm now, it's, it's her licking my face, so oh. I, I think I'd rather go back to the alarm personally. I don't blame you. <laughs> but I love them. Aww. Now, shall we talk about my favorite person? <laughs> yes. Yes, we should, because I'm really just gleeful about this. And everyone's wondering, who are they talking about? Yep. Shoot, Veronique, let's go. Well, you know, it's been, <laughs> we talk a lot about uh, south of the border, and we love our American friends. Um, we've struggled a little bit, or a lot, with uh, the current um, government, the current president in, in the south. And for a lot of reasons. And uh, so a lot happened over the weekend mm -hmm. and just at the end of the, the week there. Uh, so so they ha so Nancy Pelosi, so the leader of the, the yeah. um, House, so Congress. I like her. I know, I really like her too. Mm. Um, ha first launched um, or announced that she felt that there was enough evidence to launch an official inquiry. September 24th. Yeah. So it's, it's hard to believe, you know. I'm always fat. I will say this though. He fascinates me. Oh, he fascinates me too in a way <laughs> that you would not believe. He fascinates me because I, you know, you look at politicians in, in history and you look at politicians now mm -hmm. and and I, I am I am stunned, I think is probably the best word, by the fact that he can say and do everything that he has said and done since he became president. And, and still be president. Exactly. <laughs> and have his followers and yes. his very, very loyal yes. followers who would, it didn't, wouldn't matter what the man did. He no. is it. He is going to be in and he's going to be our next president again for four years. Yes. You know, scary. I know. And, and it, it, it worries me because, you know, he has, he has some power for sure. Oh. But what worries me, and I have friends and family who are, are ardent supporters of his in the States. Mm -hmm. are, like, w would march for him in a heartbeat. And, and they're wonderful, lovely, intelligent, intelligent human beings. People. And I, I'm always shocked mm. that they support him so vehemently mm -hmm. because, like, he, and I don't know that he believes everything he says, but it doesn't matter because he has a following that believes everything he, he does, says. He does, he does. But he's always out in the attack. Mm -hmm. Now it's against Biden. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's no evidence that Joe Biden or his son Hunter did anything. There's no, no. evidence there. No. You know, he, and went, then, he yeah. went against, a, um, in the Ukraine, a, a top prosecutor that was widely renowned for doing, just having a bad record and doing, yeah. not being good. Yeah. But that's but that's about it. He just got him fired. Yeah, and that, isn't that incredible? And, and so a lot of this has come from uh, the conversation that he had with the leader of the Ukraine to ask for him to interfere in the upcoming election. Exactly. Uh, you know, and so, and, and also I find fascinating his tweets that have come repeatedly about um, environmental activist Greta Thunberg. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she's, she's a 16 year old activist and it's quite, quite amazing what she's been able to accomplish. And, and you know, I've, I've seen a lot of posts about, well, she's coached. Well, you know what? A 16 year old should be coached on how to speak to the UN. Let's be honest. I know. Right? I mean, you and I would be coached on how to speak to the UN. Yeah, I think it's so amazing that they're there. Like, she's doing an amazing job. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I find her fascinating, and I find that, you know, everything that she's been, been able to uh, inspire. Mm -hmm. And so he, he's, he's, 
you know, really come out against her and, and uh, you know, um, mocked a little bit. Yeah, for sure. You yeah, know, her, that. And her Asperger's and all yeah, of that, you know. It's just not and I right. just, I find it amazing that, that she's been able to do everything that she, anyway. So, but I do find like the White House has taken extraordinary measures over the last two years to hide any details of Trump corresponding with any of the leaders, yep. the foreign leaders. Don't I you agree. find it's I been agree. just woo under the under the rug, yeah, under the cover? And now you must be really kind of nervous because a yeah. lot is coming his way. Well, and I yeah, and it's you know it's hard. I mean, the system in um, in the states is very is very different, obviously, I don't think than our. Going to get impeached because well, of, <laughs> no, yeah. I, unfortunately. Doc, Trump or Rump? Is it Rump or Trump? Rump. Hmm. President Trump. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. So the the Cong Congress has actually launched the impeachment yes. um, inquiry, uh, but it has to get through the Senate. I don't know, and that's the problem. Yeah, which is a tough which oh. is a tough uh, discussion. But I'm all about impeachment. <laughs> I'm sorry, Giddy Verity. up. <laughs> but I think we're allowed to our opinions. We don't sit here and bash local no. people that we know, and he is a human being, and I'm sure. Of course. Like I'm just trying to find something nice about him to say, and I can't. Well, he's so. a father and a husband, right? That's two things. That's good. Yep. So that's two positive things. So, um, we, but speaking of politics, we want to make sure that everybody gets gets out and votes vote, vote, vote. on October twenty first. Mm -hmm. So you know, find a candidate that you want to support, find a party that you want to support, find a party and a candidate you want to support. Whatever, go visit them. Yeah, but yeah, find out and and get out and vote. There's lots of time to vote between now and then. You can vote um, uh, at the returning office now. Yes. Uh, on any day, so we want to. We really want to make sure everybody does vote. Like we said last week, every vote counts. Yeah, absolutely. So we're getting, we're winding down before we bring on some really special guests that we have. We always have special guests, mm -hmm. and we appreciate the viewers for taking part every Monday and watching our show and yep. keeping us supported and giving us kudos for all the different people that we get on with various topics and yep. how positive these people are and bringing messages. So I'm going to ask you to grab a coffee and uh, have a little lunch maybe and sit in front of our TV and join us again for Have a Chat. We'll be back very soon. Thank you. And welcome back to Have a Chat. We are live at Roger Studio in Miramichi, New Brunswick. I'm Judy Loge, and again, I'm joined by my beautiful, bright co-host, Veronique Arsena. I love how she says bright. I'm well, not feeling very bright today. She is bright and beautiful. I'm not feeling very bright. Like people, like personality-wise, and also the mental functions That's are not, okay. as, I'm not as quick to. I'm going to give you points for both. <laughs> Thank you. And we have with us a lovely guest, a first-time guest, yes. Whitney Price. Welcome to our set. So happy to be here. Thank you for asking me to be here. Yes. Today. And it's lovely to have new faces and yes. new information to share with our viewers mm -hmm. because you're here to talk about something that I don't know a whole lot about but hear a lot about, the mm -hmm. Wedding Barn. Yes. So um, the Wedding Barn's a business my husband and I um, manage together. Yes. Um, so we just are closing out our second year of operation that we've been open to the public. So we're really excited to talk about it. I, I drive lots, by it every day. Well, I yes. have <laughs> questions about that because I love weddings. But tell yeah. the viewers a bit about who you are, Whitney. Yeah, so um, my name is Whitney Price. I grew up in Miramichi. Uh, I grew up in Douglastown. Mm. Um, and I've been back home for about five years now. Nice. I went away to school. I'm an occupational therapist by trade. Great profession. Yeah. So I was away, uh, did my undergrad at Mount A. Mm. Then I did my master's at Queens in Kingston, Ontario. Yeah. Wow. Great and schools. And then I've been fortunate to find work back at home. So That's, I've been here for five years. You now. are involved in a lot in the community. I am. Yeah. I try to be. I, I was so uh, transient for so long that when I actually got to come back home and, and 
you know, make my roots. But I was, I've been very fortunate to be able to be involved in a few different things. A lot of different yeah. things. But let's just focus right now on your business mm -hmm. that you and your husband mm -hmm. have together and just when it all began, whose idea it was to form this wedding bar. Yeah, so uh, my husband's John Murdoch. So he grew up in uh, Napin. Nice area. Um, yeah, beautiful area. So his family is very firmly rooted there in Napin. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> so they live on the Murdoch Road. So the yes. barn actually started as a cattle firm. Um, so John's father, Randy, and his grandfather had a cattle, um, cattle farm there in the 80s mm -hmm. and early 90s. And then the barn after that was kind of just used for family things. Um, and it's an actual barn. It's an actual barn. Like we need, so people need to know that it's an actual <laughs> barn, <laughs> yeah. and, and yeah. it's 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 on a lovely little piece of property. Yeah. And because I like I said, I drive by it every day. Yeah. But beautiful. But it, it is actually a barn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was functional. I yes. just you know I'm new to the family, so I wasn't around when it was a barn, but. I've seen pictures and to see the transformation is, is truly incredible. Yeah. So how was this baby born to come up with the idea yeah. to hold it as a venue for those who choose to get married yes. at the receptions? So we'll definitely have to give uh, credit to John's sister, Stephanie Engelmeyer. So nice. she, it was her idea. She wanted to get married at the barn. Okay. Um, it was about 10 years ago and barn weddings were just kind of starting to be in style. Yep. Um, not everyone kind of got her vision, but the family did get on board with prepping the barn um, to be a wedding venue. So mm -hmm. back in the early days, you know, they, they poured a, a floor and they put in bathrooms, okay. kitchen, that thing, that type of thing to get ready for her wedding. Mm. And then subsequently, his other sister, Melissa, uh, also got married at the barn. <laughs> so that was how the barn got started, and like it, it was used for family weddings primarily for mm. about 10 years. Um, but we just got a lot of inquiries from guests that were at the weddings about, you know, can we rent the barn? They loved the setting. Loved it. So in, um, it just basically, John and I took the opportunity to open it up to the public. Mm. Um, and we've been doing that for two years now. Two years. Yeah. So, by um, fast. so how many, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, how many people does it see, like, so now you've just finished your second season. Yes. Which is huge. Yes. Um, yeah. So, how many people can you fit in the barn? Well, um, I think our biggest wedding was Stephanie's and John and I got married just this past June. And we nice. had seated for a meal. 235 people. Oh, wow. That's a big crowd. Yeah. Big crowd, yeah. So we are, we do have extra space um, in the old hayloft. Yes. Um, so there's extra seating up there. So we're able to accommodate, we say comfortably 200, mm. 220. It gets a little bit tighter above that, but we do have seating for 250. Okay, okay what about yeah. the food? Now, what mm -hmm. about the catering? Mm -hmm. Tell us how that works. Yeah, so what when we started the barn, we really wanted to give Miramichiers a place to get married where they can kind of create their own mm -hmm. their own yeah. wedding their own mm -hmm. everything mm. so we've had tons of different caterers to okay. come to the barn but some ones that have been frequently would be greens catering they yes. always put on a lovely meal mm. um, for our wedding we chose uh, Brian Matheson mm -hmm. so he lovely has mindful well. of foods yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then we've also had some companies from out of town uh, mm. Sizzlers uh, is a barbecue mm. type a caterer yeah. and they bring their own truck and they barbecue. Sounds good. Yeah, we've had people have pigs on a spit. I'm sure. Yep. <laughs> you so know, is there, is there an actual? There's a kitchen on site. So there's a kitchen on site. Um, it's a small kitchen. It it was a barn, so we're not yeah. set up like an industrial kitchen. Typically, the caterers will prepare food off site and then bring it in. But some caterers have you know, done the whole meal at the wow. barn as well. No, yeah. it's a seasonal type venue, right? Yes. So you run yeah. from what month to what month? From June, um, we say the early to mid-June to the end of September. Mm. Mm. And then how far do you have to book ahead? So if I want to get married next March, how soon would I have to notify you? Well, or, uh, sorry, June. June, June. June. yeah. <laughs> well, we typically book up about a year in advance. So okay. right now we have, I think, four weekends left for next summer. Oh, wow. You're a busy yeah. Time. It's very busy. It's Look very good. popular. It's very it's very fun. I always mm -hmm. tell people, you know, people are excited to get married. It's a happy time. You get to meet a ton of different people, different yes. families. It's yes. it's really been a great experience. We see ourselves as hosts and yes. 
you know, we love to show off the bar and we love to show off the Napa area. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, so you know, have yeah. never been out the that country. way yeah. if they don't have a reason to be. Um, and we also have John's uh, father, Randy, has Schooner Point Log Cabins. So we're able to offer that too, where it's close to the barn. So, but you know, stay there. people stay there. And, they're and it's beautiful. It, yeah. Yeah, because we're just down at the end of that road. Mm -hmm. but, um, mm -hmm. So, but also, like, I've, so I've seen people get married in front of the barn. Yes. I've seen people get married in front of the cabins right on the water. Yes. I've seen, so you have those options as well. Yeah, we kind of um, give those options to our couples. Some people prefer to get married in a church and they just yes. have the reception at the mm -hmm. barn. Um, but often, I think it's becoming more and more popular outdoor weddings. So we do have the, the waterfront property, we call it the slip, um, offered to people to get married there. And then some people get married right on site at the barn. You got married on the waterfront. I got married yeah. on the waterfront and it was blowing. Yes, I remember. Was it a cold day in June? It was a windy day in windy June. Windy day. I had, you know, put a lot of thought into all Aww. the details. And I just remember walking down the aisle and seeing my my cellist and my violinist and you couldn't hear oh, a note. Nah. <laughs> but, it was, okay. but it was still beautiful. You have to kind of roll with the punches yeah, when do. you do an outdoor wedding. Yeah, I mean, so. married regardless, right? Yeah. yeah. I drove through their wedding party. <laughs> what? <laughs> I did. I, was, I, I knew that they were getting oh. married that day, but I thought you guys were getting married a little bit early, so uh, earlier in the day. So anyway, I remember, mm -hmm. and, and uh, Stephanie, because Stephanie and I worked together. Yes. yes. And so Stephanie and Melissa were, and Melissa, of course, uh, I worked with her as well. So Stephanie and Melissa had just gotten out of limo yeah and everything was blowing <laughs> oh yeah. my veil blew veil. away i had oh. to wrap it around my arm extreme oh, way no. my mother had the same type and my father on their experience of yeah. their wedding day that there was wind. there was white caps yeah so beautiful as hosts then what yeah. is your role so we basically like we try to keep it simple we only book one wedding a weekend so we don't want people to be having to rush in and out get there the day of to decorate um so sometimes people will hold their rehearsal and the rehearsal dinner at, right at the mm -hmm. bar so we are basically there just to make sure everybody has everything that yeah. they need um, we will do things like we will run the bar um for people if they would like bar service but we try to keep it like i said as as personalized as it can right. be not yeah. swamped in there swamped for like yeah them in people and have a lot of cho choice yeah. and a lot of freedom so, so when i hear this is just the way i think okay yeah. i think of a wedding barn i think of casual attire yeah as far as dress code goes but that's not the case right well it, de it truly depends on the crowd and the type of, of um, you know, atmosphere that the bride wants to create. We've right. had really upscale Real decor. Regal. It really okay. Yeah, um, Cindy's event and design. She does a great job, and she yes, created she a beautiful, beautiful. elegant um, mm. decor for one of our weddings this summer. And then we have mm. the casual people that just want to come in jeans, cowboy boots, cowboy boots. You know, yeah. we kind of have the whole range. So I love that yeah. idea. It is what you want to make it. Exactly. Perfect. And yeah. people, like I said, will want to know when they see you on the show now how yeah. they can contact you and your husband. Yes. Yeah, so we are on Facebook. Um, we do a lot, a lot of communication through Facebook because it's easy. It people can find us. Yes. Uh, we also have a website, and right. then you can also contact us. By so phone. just the so wedding barn. The wedding barn. The wedding barn. Miramichi .com is our website, and the Wedding Barn Miramichi is also our Facebook. Right. So we do a lot of showings uh, this time of year for people okay. looking for next year. So we do, you can book uh, like a viewing of the barn right on our Facebook page or on the website. So it's amazing you only have four weekends left. Yeah, it goes. I, it goes very right. quickly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, but it's nice that they can do it all. Get their own photographer, their own florist, their yeah. own um, yeah. cooks. Uh, yeah. it's, it's just great. Yeah. It leaves you to relax and enjoy the whole. Yeah, the whole business. Yeah, we provide like sim like we have everything on site as far as tables. We invested in some new chairs this year, um, dishes and tablecloths. Mm. Yeah, white tablecloths for all the tables. Glasses, so. wine glasses? And wine glasses, water glasses. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So I it's all there. I think it's awesome. Yeah. What a beautiful idea. And I hear so much about the I wedding know. barn. I have to say, I hear yeah. the wedding barn, the wedding barn. So I was really happy that you gave us yeah. details today. Well, like I said, I drive by it every day. Yeah. So, <laughs> and I drive through all the weddings yeah. too, as I'm going. <laughs> yeah. And it's, I always find it fascinating though too, because um, people like, 
they'll do directional signages. So all of a sudden, you, like you start down the North Napin Road, and you've got like you know yeah. a hay bale with a post, and I'm like, oh, somebody's getting married this weekend. <laughs> yes, I'm so allergic exactly. to hay. I don't yeah, know what I even do. I'm so even, allergic to it. Yeah, yeah. I, but oh, it, yeah. I'm terribly allergic to it. Um, but yeah. you're also very involved, and we talked about that at the top of, of the segment. You're very involved in the community and, and women. The Women's yes. Network yes. is one of your passions. Yeah. I know that you've been the president for the last number of years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell us about what's coming up. So we have our annual gala coming up, the Women of Influence Gala. So this is our big event of the year. Um, it's always a great time, and we get to recognize some really incredible women in our community. So right now we actually have nominations open. Um, okay. So we're taking nominations for Entrepreneur of the Year, Professional of the Year, and our Woman of Influence category, which I know, Judy, you've been a past winner. And Veronica as well. And as well. So yeah, so we have, there we go. So Not we women of on, on under the influence, women of um, the influence. Oh, sometimes I've been under the influence. <laughs> so it's been a great honor, I yeah. must say. Yes, you were the original woman of influence. Yeah. The very first one. That would have been 20. 12. 2012. 2012. Imagine. Imagine. Yeah. yeah. So 2016. I'm glad we've influenced people. If that's yeah. the case, then we hope we continue to do so. Yeah. So our nominations are open on the women website, which is womenofmiramachi.com. Exactly. On our uh, Facebook page. And also we have some paper nominations out in the community um, at Blush Beauty Bar, mm -hmm. um, at Town Hill jewelry and also at um, the Miramichi Naturopathic Health Clinic. Okay. So and you're still the yeah. president? I'm still the president. Okay. Yep. You have a great uh, uh, group of women surrounding we, you on the board, oh, don't you? yes. Fantastic group of women. I couldn't do it without them. They're amazing. Yeah. I love it. That's one of my favorite events of the year. Oh, yeah. me too. It's, um, people don't feel intimidated to have to come dressed to the hilt, but it's an awfully nice opportunity if you have that mm -hmm. special dress or a cocktail dress or a long or short or mm -hmm. pantsuit that you love, that you want to wear. Yeah. It's a chance to do it. I look and like a princess. Yeah, you, I did. and you feel like I did. one. And you, I yeah. did, because, and I did it on purpose. Because uh -huh. I never wear anything but black, typically. Right. right. And so, because it's a thing. Yeah. But anyway, I, I remember I went out and bought the dress, and I, I had my mother with me, and I had my Aunt Andrea with yes. me. And it was so far out of my comfort zone at all. Like, but oh. it was, it was um, black fitted on the top, but it had a huge yeah. silver um, ball skirt, mm -hmm. like and it was a big ball gown, mm -hmm. and, and I and it I felt beautiful. Oh my god, it was the best night of my life. Yeah, yes. <laughs> like I felt, I felt so, you know. And it's funny because everybody kept saying she looks like a princess. I'm like, yes, I, <laughs> I do. Am yeah. a princess. Yes, I do. And it's yeah. so great to empower women. Oh. I feel so happy yeah. when I'm surrounded, and it's not just women that can attend. Obviously, no. No. this is for men as well to be there to support the ones in their lives that have made a difference. Their wives, their girlfriends, their moms, aunts, sisters, mm -hmm. friends, whatever. So the gentlemen are more than welcome. Oh, and it's yes. a really Fun night too. It is, it great is. meal and great energy. Mm -hmm. And so, when yeah. is it this year? I know the um, nominations are open until the twenty second of October, but mm -hmm. when is the actual? Uh, it's Saturday, November twenty third. Oh, okay, and it's at the it. Rod as, mm -hmm. again. It's yeah. a pretty good time, mm -hmm. you know why? Because oh, yeah. it's not the well, it's getting busy, but it's mm -hmm. not oh, yeah. the crunch that you anticipate yes. for the Christmas rush. Yeah, it's not the oh, we've got to go to this this week. It's usually no, early it's December. Things start with parties, mm -hmm. and I dread winter, but I do love that part of the <laughs> winter is that. getting ready for the Christmas season. Yes. Exactly. The shopping part. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> Although I'm not a shopper. Yeah. Um, what? No, well, no, no. Oh my God, check her head, Whitney. There's something wrong with this woman. I know, I think we're not really. <laughs> no, no fever. <laughs> um, but no, we want to make sure that everybody um, does get a nomination in there. Yeah. It was uh, definitely a highlight of my life when I was nominated. Me too. Yeah. yeah, I was honored. I really, truly was. And I like the fact now that it's not competitive. It used to be that there were people that nominated various women, and then you'd sit there and wonder, am I going to be the chosen yes. one? And then you'd feel bad maybe if someone wasn't you know, nominated and you were, that's the way it was. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a one person. Yes. For Again, it's the woman of the influence, mm -hmm. the professional of the year. Mm -hmm. Is there a young woman in We do young women of influence. Young Woman of Influence is actually nominated by the board. That's so a nice we, idea. Yeah, so Secret. We, yes, exactly. So and there's one more. Did I miss any? There's um, entrepreneur. 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 And we also present a Women Member of the Year oh, at yes. our gala as well. It's very, very yeah. well organized always, mm -hmm. I find. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My goodness. But again, volunteers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What can you say about volunteers? When you're in so many various, mm -hmm. you know, areas mm -hmm. in this community that you're involved in, what are some of the other things that you're involved in the community? Um, well, I I have a lot of jobs. I <laughs> so, do. So I work uh, as an occupational therapist. Um, I also have like a private occupational therapy service That's that so I cool. do 
in the evenings. Mm. Um, and then I also work with my friend Vanessa McAvoy. She's mm. she's great. Yeah, she's the Dory Yard and, and the yoga block. And the yoga block. So I try to help her out. Um, I'm a karma worker. <laughs> you are. You're and connected. That's what it's called. And then um, yeah, so women and then. I try to get out to as many community events as I can. Yeah. I work with uh, addictions and mental health. Good and for you. There's a lot. Um, there's a lot going on in our community that services people in need, and it's just so important to get out there and and pitch give, in. Pitch in when you can, and when you have, you know, you have all the resources that you can give to others. That's so how we feel every week. We've yeah, been trying oh for a long time to yeah. just make that difference. Every person counts if they give to something. Absolutely. Yeah. If you just even focus on one area that you're concerned with, like yeah. mental health or, like you said, um, you know, the, the addictions. But we've been very happy to have you on the yeah, show. Really and we're going to have to leave you until we come back for the next segment. But thank you again to Whitney Price thank and um, the Wedding Barn and book your venue there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Yeah. Welcome back to Have a Chat. It's a beautiful Monday. We are live at Rogers Studio here in Miramichi. Uh, again, I'm Judy Logier, your host for this afternoon for Have a Chat, and I'm joined by my beautiful co-host, Veronique Arsenault, if you're just joining us. Now I have to pay you. No, it's, it's, <laughs> I say the truth. I'm very now good with my truth. And we have a lovely gentleman on set. We do. Thank you. The first guy of the day here, Mr. Darcy <laughs> McLaughlin. And yes. for those of you who don't know Darcy, he is a very strong community member and a wonderful personality with 95.9 Sun FM. And he's here to talk about food for friends today. But we want to know a little bit more about you, Darcy. Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm from Blackville originally, class I don't 91. I think anybody doesn't know you. Legal. <laughs> I, think, I don't think there's anybody that doesn't know you. How's that even for those possible? who don't, though, I am from Blackville. Okay. I'm uh, I'm originally a, a journalist. Uh, now I apply my trade mornings on 95.9 Sun FM. I have two grown children, both in their 20s. Yes, I yes, know those. My no. sister, Bakri, my daughter, Helena. And uh, I have a lovely wife, Vanessa. We celebrated our first anniversary yesterday. So Happy belated. Uh, yes, yes. Number so. one, can you? I know, oh, right? my heavens. That's going to grow and grow and grow. That's going to be beautiful. Absolutely. Yes. So um, we want to talk about Food for Friends right mm -hmm. off the top because it's a very special event that mm -hmm. takes place how many years in a row now? We started the first year, uh, 2013, when we launched the station. So it's oh going well. Goodness. Yeah, so it's we, we was our first, one of our first big initiatives, yeah. Okay, tell us the date and more about the event. Yeah, it's Friday, so October 4th, and it is uh, at the Action Corner, 202 Pleasant Street, which is where the uh, station is located. Yeah. We still use the Action Corner, that old, <laughs> well, it was an old radio ad, so it made perfect sense for us to oh, okay. adopt the, I love uh, it, actually. the title again, and it's I'm funny, people know. People know more if we say the Action Corner than 202 Pleasant. Where the action's yeah, at, no, maybe. I, I wouldn't, no, know, we would have a clue. I wouldn't yeah. even know what it was. It's now. catchy because you want to be yeah. on the action and you see oh, yes. a lot from your corner. You oh, have a it's a busy station. corner. Oh, yes, you see a lot happening. I, I, uh, yeah, I've, I always love the stories that you guys tell about. <laughs> oh, I do too. Um, but anyway, I'll get to that in a second. <laughs> yeah. We do love that. Uh, so, of course, it is in support of the Miramichi Community Food Bank. And mm -hmm. we're asking folks to drop by with donations of non-perishable food items or cash. That's always good. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a barbecue from 11 to 2. The event itself stops at five we kind of say as soon as we're there in the morning if you want to drop by and i'm usually there at five but right. we'll start things officially probably around nine ish and uh, simply drop on by help out the community and we've had tremendous support it's grown every single success. year yeah and the first year we didn't know if it was going to be yeah. a huge success you didn't know if people were going to come out no and they did and it's just now at the point where people look for it. they go oh when's yeah. food for friends yes. right yeah. it's just become a thing of its own it's almost like we are facilitating it, but it's become a community event all its own. And I love the name Friends. because You could say mm -hmm. uh, food for those in need or whatever, yeah. but it's food for friends because we all mm -hmm. should be giving to one another. We all have each other's back when it comes to needing mm -hmm. those mm -hmm. obvious things like food every day mm -hmm. of the year. We just Well, and I think people don't realize how many people mm -hmm. we know that use the food bank. 
Well, we always say it's the people you work with sometimes. Yeah, exactly. It's the kids that your kids are going to school with. Yeah. It's someone who's sitting beside you at church on Sunday. I know. You don't know. No. Um, and that's why we say friends. We're helping out our friends, our neighbors, our community. Oh, all yeah. in one. I love one. that. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. No, and I, I, I think it's an amazing yeah. initiative, and I, I uh, have gotten to hang out with you guys yes. every year. I usually... <laughs> Know, show up with something. Yes. <laughs> yeah, crap here. <laughs> um, but you know, and but something I've also seen um, mm -hmm. because so you always fill the vans up, and it's like yes, a, just an incredible amount of food. Yes. Um, but I've also seen some posts just shared in general, not necessarily from you guys, but just shared in general about. It's a great thing to give cash as well. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, because they can turn it into food, and and a lot of times. Um, they have deals with different yes, grocery stores yeah. and providers where they can get something at a discount. Mm -hmm. So yeah, cash is king, but some people like the idea of giving right. the food. So we don't we don't make you choose whichever no. one you want to do. Yeah. And the barbecue is always a big cash fundraiser as well because we will nice. have those folks who come in, get a burger and a, and a pop, and drop twenty dollars in the exactly. donation bar, Lovely. which is great as well. If you're wondering food-wise what to donate to, mm. 959sunfm.com slash friends. We have a complete grocery list. A lot That's of the most great. needed items yep. at the Miramichi Community Food Bank, including, by the way, toiletries and stuff as well. Yes. well then, uh, yeah. That's a big one. Those are very expensive. Toothpaste, toilet tissue, mm -hmm. uh, paper towel, that type of stuff. Feminine hygiene product, okay. extremely yeah. expensive. All right. That's often a barrier for uh, lower income women. So okay. stuff like that, if they can hand that out at the yeah. uh, food bank. It makes well, things thing, go right? a little further, if you You will. forget that yeah. if you're not having to spend money on laundry detergent, mm -hmm. then you can buy more food. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like like well, fresh food, to, too. We like, to yes, live, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, you know, but you can buy those things more readily if mm -hmm. you if you are getting laundry detergent That's or deodorant exactly. or whatever yeah. it may be. Because yeah. the non-perishable is great, but maybe you, you will have extra money to go buy some chicken. Some right, beef, exactly. Stuff like that, right? Exactly. Yeah. I'm sure on that list it must include baby uh, food. Baby and food, baby, formulas, you know, formulas, that kind that's of stuff so as well. Yeah, those well. are expensive diapers? as well. Di uh, diapers, yes, we've had lots of diapers like donated the over the years. And all that oh, stuff. And stuff. Oh, yeah, people so are very good about good that kind tips. of thing. Very Absolutely. good for me to know, too, because you might think of dropping <laughs> off a can of something like yeah. peaches right. or a yeah. can of pears or peas, but knowing that these people, like Fiernik said, once they have those other things in place like Tide or other detergents, then they can eat. It it's less to sense. worry about. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. You know, when you're trying to budget for your month. Yeah. I mean, we all budget, and we all have to do it. And so it's it's just for those folks who are budgeting with a lower income, it's, mm -hmm. it's a little easier. We're right? really happy to help out with this yeah. community food bank. Last time I had heard, it was about four four to five hundred families. Yeah, it's in that range, probably somewhere in that range. That's so incredible. It's, yeah, it is it is quite something. Yeah. And it's and, not four or five hundred people. It's four or five hundred families. Families, yeah. Right. And you know, it's, when you go in there, we do our deliveries. And when we've had some people to help us for the first time with the delivery, because it's a big thing, you're unloading oh, all yeah. this stuff. Um, when they walk in a lot of times and they see how much we fill it up, people have burst into tears yeah, I'm sure. that I have helped that. us. Um, there's an area they have for stuff like they call it extras, which is like snacks for kids, cookies yeah. and stuff. Mm -hmm. kids, that'll make people cry because you realize stuff that you take for granted. Yep. Others treats don't. For them. Treats for them. Big things to them. For them, yeah. yeah. So that's like, maybe that might be the only desk. time that month that oh, a child yeah. gets, you know, a pack of cookies or right. a treat or something, right? Which we all take for granted. We, so we do. We yeah, do. absolutely. Well, yeah, you think nothing of going to get a. If you want a box of cookies, you go to the uh, store yeah. and get a box of cookies. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. yeah. And then I usually eat all of those oh. cookies <laughs> in that same sitting. However, but now you've been with the station. You said how long since you? Twenty thirteen. I'm a first day. Twenty. The only one left, actually. I'm the only original <laughs> left. <laughs> Talk about it then. Um, I have a question for you, Durs. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I have a question for you. So we've talked a lot about social mm -hmm. media today, because mm -hmm. uh, you know I, 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 we're all on social media often, yes. right? Like, I mean, yes. let's be honest. Um, and I'm, I'm very intrigued. I'll be, I'll be honest, <laughs> um, by what's happened lately. Oh, have you heard something? Well, you know, just, just <laughs> nothing. Talk about the radio station. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. it's. <sighs> So recently there's been some changes, yeah. and some people have made some personal changes. Well, here, here's what happened, and, and, and this is kind of the dark side of social media, because yeah. something takes off and it spreads like wildfire, oh. and there's a lot of stuff that's going around that's not quite true. What mm -hmm. basically happened is, and laid on the table, uh, Patty Quinn, who was my co-host with me on, on mornings on 95.9 Sun FM, um, was approached by a business in town and offered a position. Yeah. He decided to take it. Now, I can't speak for Patty. I do know it wasn't an easy decision. He no, sought he advice from me. He sought advice from others. And at the end of the day, he had to do what was best for him and his family. Sure. And I respect that all day long. 
He didn't leave under bad terms. No. Um, he's been texting me all morning, so we're still friends. We're doing an <laughs> event actually together yep. uh, for MVHS for the Alumni Association. They have a trivia night on October 18th, so right. we're putting the band back together right. for a night. <laughs> Got the another band back event, together. Another event coming up. Um, but a lot of folks are saying, you know, Patty was fired. Misconceptions. He was, he was not. Mm. He resigned. He was not forced to resign. I've heard that uh, one. That was another that one. one. Uh, this this move would not have been made if he had stayed because we had a great thing going and yeah. they weren't going to mess it up. And you see the reaction when he didn't get fired. Imagine if he did. Yeah. Um, it's good to clear the air though, Darcy. Yeah. Like yeah. you said, well, people don't know what's what's yeah. right. No. So now we sure. hear it from the horse's mouth yeah. that worked exactly there for so many years with yeah. Patty himself. And, and I you think know, oh, sorry, you say we had three choices to move forward. I could have hosted the show by myself, but if I wake up sick tomorrow morning yeah. or I want to take a vacation, mm -hmm. what do we do? You have to have to hire somebody, unfortunately, while we love Miramichi, for a lot of folks, it's a stepping stone in their career. Yeah. And so I used to go through this when I was at, an editor at the paper. We'd get young reporters fresh out of school, yeah. you'd have them there for a year or two, and then off they go. For and sure. you start all over again. I know. Same thing with the radio station. We bring somebody in, they're going to stay till they get the experience and a reel underneath them, and then they're going to go somewhere else. Sure. We've been through a lot of people for that very reason. Mm. So then... Uh, the other decision was made to bring in the show from Ottawa, our station in Ottawa. No, no cover that up. It's a station from Ottawa. Yeah, Mahler and Rush Ma and Jenny. And Jenny, <laughs> the, the morning hot tub. Yeah. And uh, we've done that in Charlottetown as well. It was very successful in Charlottetown. They loved the show when they made the switch there. Ratings for that station have gone up. All right. So uh, the way it works is I come on with the local news. Yep. So this morning you heard Miramichi News, Miramichi Sports. There's uh, what we call an entertainment break, which is the crew from Ottawa. I come in with the local weather. They come in with another team. Then I come in and talk Miramichi. I talk Food for Friends. I talk Orange Shirt Day. This morning I talked about complaining about people who can't merge. <laughs> <laughs> who can't so, merge? People who can't merge in the highway. Didn't have, that was my oh, thing this morning. It was my little, that was how my little we, rant. How long do we have? <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I, I have that freedom to do that in the morning. And then we have the know-it-all question in the 9 o'clock hour. I like John that. and I still host Retroactive on yeah. Sunday nights. Great job, uh, by the way. Stuff like that. So there's still a local focus. We're still at events. We were all over Craft Hockeyville. I I'm know. here talking food yeah. for friends. So we're still very involved. But we were uh, put in a position where we had to make a decision. Mm -hmm. yeah. It all makes sense to me. You've laid it right out on the yeah. table. And that's what the viewers mm -hmm. should know, that that's how it's going to roll. And so you're yeah. doing a wonderful job. Well, well that's you. the thing. And I think, you know, what happens often is, is I, I I think people don't realize, and I go back to being mm -hmm. volunteers, people don't realize that although, yes, you guys are, are radio personalities mm -hmm. and, and we all own a piece of you, right? When you're, <laughs> yes. when you're on, on yes. TV, because I get the mm -hmm. same, not, not to the same extent that you mm -hmm. guys do, but it's, it's that we feel, they, yeah. people can feel like they can say anything, right? Yeah. Um, but also, you guys do so much volunteerism, yeah, yeah. right? So it's not just, yes, you're there for the show and you've, mm -hmm. done, and you've done that piece for the radio as well, mm -hmm. but all, a lot of the community stuff that's happened is because of you guys as people. Yes. Yeah. Cool. You know? We're just and, trying to be involved as much as we can. From right, sure. And and you've been supported by your radio mm -hmm. station in a lot of uh, in a lot of ways, but it's also because of who you guys are. Right. And so I, I can understand. Listen, it was kind of a shock that morning to wake up and to hear. Sad to hear. But you, you know what? Guys rocked up each other. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Oh, it's, well. You know, being both locals Fantastic. and all that kind of stuff and of the same age group. Funny, and funny, and funny, yeah. funny makes me laugh out laughing. Yeah. But I lived in Ottawa for 16 mm -hmm. years, and I listened to Mahler and Rush absolutely. every morning. And now Jenny is a newer addition to it, but I listened to Mahler and Rush because that was. That was the it station. Was hot hot yeah. 89.9 was yeah. the station in Ottawa. It's still that one. And it was the, the morning hot tub. Mm -hmm. So it was actually, for me, it was a little bit of going back <laughs> to <laughs> Ottawa. Because I was yeah. like, it was. oh, yeah, there yeah. they are. And uh, the first morning, I thought that they had done it by accident, I'll mm -hmm. be honest, because I hadn't heard that they were coming in. But uh, mm -hmm. I thought they pushed the wrong button. Yeah. Um, but you know what? It, and it's going to take some getting used to. And yeah, it's, it's not what we've new. had. No. But I think we need to, to you know, take away that conspiracy theory yeah. oh, that's yes, kind of absolutely. going around. Yeah. And embrace the change. <laughs> and we need to support Patty and his new his oh, new listen, endeavors absolutely. And, and we need he's, to support he's, he's killing it there he's he doing is. really well i know, I know. and yeah. we need to support you and 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 because there you. are still people there sure. you're not the only one that's still no, there we're, we're there every morning yeah we're so there we need to morning. support you in in, in that mm -hmm. endeavor as well yeah. and i think you know if we can get rid of that Concept, misconception. Well, that that, yeah. that social media hype that happens, yeah, right? Yeah. And we get and we're so attached to you oh, guys, and yeah. I get it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I think we need to we need to breathe a little bit and I know, say, okay, how do we make this work for us? Because this is what we've got. And it's a done deal. Yeah. It's, it's it well, is sure, what it is. It is. Yeah, and it was thing. kind of flattering in a way because yes. we're like, well, you know, because yeah. they thought I was like a lot of people 
thought I was gone. Right. Uh -huh. And it was I was in a really weird position where I was be doing a live break, literally live, and there'd be messages popping up saying, "Man, sorry to hear another radio I station know. anymore." And I'm like, I'm literally talking to the microphone <laughs> right now. <you> know? <laughs> please, please wait. Please hold. Well, but Darcy, I listen to you, and I yeah. think like when you're talking, you have such a wealth of knowledge in so many <laughs> different areas. Do you do a lot of research on fact, or are you just were you always one of those guys that was really strong in trivia and like to grasp yeah, facts growing I'm, up? Well, I think the journalism background helps with that. Wow, I look at, you have a lot of I'm always an information junkie. I like to I say. I love it. I'm a wealth of useless information sometimes, Not but really. also, but also it. some no. good stuff. I'm like, know. I didn't know yeah. that. And then you're talking about yeah. something else and an artist and when their album was first brought <laughs> out or, or a drummer yeah. that, you know, has just passed away and what yeah. he, when he first, it was just like, wow. I, I can't such... remember what I had for lunch yesterday. Oh, I do. I didn't <laughs> wonder for <laughs> Back when the, uh, the, uh, want to be a millionaire? Oh, yes. Was that the Who board game? Yeah, yeah. I was, I had to stop. They answer my phone because it was always a lifeline. Oh, really? So, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. And yeah. it's great to have that connection sure. to listeners. They want to yep. learn. I mean, it's nice to have yeah. that bubbly personality and, and someone charming to, to mm. listen to uh, as far as um, the ear goes. But but when you're getting information on your mm. drive home and listening to people that actually know what they're talking about and things yeah. you've never heard of before, mm. I'm enlightened. Yeah. Every week I listen to you and I'm enlightened. Yep. Yeah. And, and being a Miramichi, you know, I certainly want to promote the Miramichi and yeah, things that are happening. You. We will continue to that. Tara, who is our manager of the station, She's a Miramichi. She, she is. Her? She absolutely wants to do the best for the yeah. uh, area as she can. Yeah. She is there with me every day. So there's lots of folks that are there, and you, the whole crew, by the way, will be on hand. Uh, I the know, local, the yeah. local crew for Food for Friends. Yeah. So if you drop on by, and certainly you know, when I was at Craft Hockey, a lot of people ask questions. So if you're coming by Food for Friends, bring a donation, and we'll answer any questions you have. We'll talk to you. So you we want to make sure. Hide? We want to make sure that we highlight mm -hmm. Food for Friends. This absolutely. Weekend. So it's Friday. Friday, yeah. From. I'd say nine ish start again. Well, I'm there. I'm up. there. There <laughs> five, and the door will be open. So if anybody drop can't, off. yeah, drop it off. I, I never turn anybody away. Right. We'll end at about five o'clock. The barbecue from eleven to two. Now, imperishable food items, cash. I want to give a thank you, by the way, the Greeley Home Building Center, Bull Bear Credit Union, oh, yes. and uh, Lounsbury Marishi. Those are our partners for yes. this. Certainly appreciate that. Napa will lend us their van. Always great. The Kinsman. Give us their barbecue. They have that They're giant awesome. industrial barbecue, oh, yeah. awesome. which yeah. is fantastic. Yeah. And they, they always, we ask them the first time we ask them, they never hesitate. And every year since they've supported it. Yeah. And they do incredible stuff in the community. So I certainly appreciate and their And that help. list of items, again, for people are listening mm -hmm. and say, okay, I want to know what he said yeah. about what I can buy. What is it again? 959sunfm.com. And you can either click on the Food for Friend link and uh, check it out. Mm -hmm. We'll make sure that we put it on our Facebook page as yeah. well mm -hmm. so that, that people can share yeah. it around uh, to, because really we want to make sure that you're successful again yep. this year as you yep. always have been and, and all the hard work that um, you and the station mm -hmm. have put in you know and Patty's only been gone a couple of weeks mm -hmm. I know he wants it to be successful sure. as well or carry on. so yeah and and I mean all of your sponsors and and supporters mm -hmm. in the community you know have done a phenomenal job mm -hmm. I know look really uh, Guy barbecues every, <laughs> every year yes indeed he's been a great supporter yeah. of the station and, yeah. and fruit for friends yes and the people yeah. that benefit yeah. us so uh, just a quick question we're gonna have to wrap up pretty soon sure. but how long would the food normally last are you given any kind of stats on what you drop it, off? They go through it pretty quick. I don't I have know. the exact stats, but they, they, they have a big turnover. But it's certainly, you know, to, in, in this time period, like just before Thanksgiving, just going into the Christmas, to have that extra boost right. is really a big thing for them. And now they really look forward to it every year. They know Food for Friends is coming. Sure, they feel We're secure. Get this they have something yeah. in their home to turn yeah. to. Oh, it, so. it just makes such a difference when you're, you know, when you're when you're hungry, mm -hmm. it affects everything. Oh. You know, and when you have no idea where your next meal is coming from, yep. it affects everything. So, mm -hmm. uh, but you know, thanks, Darcy, so much for well, for uh, what for you do. You've done. But you know, but also for coming on the show. Well, thank you guys for having me. I appreciate <laughs> I know it. You've been up since three or four. Yeah, That's yeah, thing. You're still bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Right. I know. I, you and I would, <laughs> well, you and I would be barely functioning. Yeah, we. Yeah, uh, we're, I am barely functioning, yeah. but here we are. It's called caffeine. It's yeah. called caffeine. <laughs> it's called caffeine. That'll be our next thing. So now you'll go home and have a little nap this afternoon? I'll probably go have a little nap this afternoon, yeah. yeah. Just so. quickly, what time do you get up every morning? Uh, alarm goes off at 3.30. 3.30, folks. We have to let the guy go home and nap. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you for joining us, Veronique Arsenault, myself, Judy Loger, with our wonderful guest, Darcy McLaughlin. Donate to Food for Friends October 4th. And thank you very much for tuning in to have a chat. We'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you.